Alright guys, so even though only a thousand lucky fans were able to watch the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, but guys, pretty much everyone right now knows the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie's entire story. The fans who were at the premiere in Japan, they revealed the entire story to us. Now guys, for this specific video right here, I'll be talking about a spoiler right now. And if you guys do not want these spoilers, please click away from this video right now because I'll be talking about heavy spoilers in this video. Anyways guys, if you guys are okay with it, then guys, let's get started. So pretty much all the fans that were at the premiere of this movie in Japan, they said visually this movie is a pure masterpiece. And they have also said that this movie's animation cannot be touched by any animation in the Dragon Ball series or even any Dragon Ball movies from the past. So by now pretty much all of us know how Broly will look like in this movie from trailers to promotional images. Now we all have seen Broly's clothing it looks really really nice but there is one specific clothing that Broly is wearing in this image right here that means a lot to him and he values this piece of clothing a lot so after some of the Frieza forces members found Broly and Paragus then sometimes passes by and Broly goes off with Ciara and Lemo and Ciara and Lemo are the two characters that found Broly so Broly, Ciara and Lemo they go somewhere quiet and they begin to bond and slowly a friendship is growing between them then Broly tells Ciara and Lemo that the green fur that he is wearing comes from his very first friend. So Planet Bampa that Broly was on for all those years, it has two kind of creatures. The first one is the spider crabs. Then there's a gigantic green fur long neck dog like creatures that live within the craters found on the surface of planet Bampa. Since the day Broly was sent on planet Bampa as a kid, Broly trained by continuously dodging the attacks of one of these green furred creatures. And by repeatedly doing so, they became friends. But one day, Broly's father Paragus attacked this creature, which resulted in one of the creature's ears to come right off. And after that incident, the creature stopped interacting with Broly. And Broly was really sad because this creature, which was his friend, will not hang out with Broly anymore because of what happened. And to keep the memories of that friendship that they had, Broly decided to wear the fur of that severed ear around him so that they would always be together and after hearing broly's story lemo says that broly is really a pure being and ciara also says that she thinks that broly is not fighting because he wants to but instead broly is being used as a tool by his pathetic father in order to exact some revengeful agenda both ciara and lemo tell broly to ditch his father but Broly says he will not disobey his father. And guys, in my opinion, the relationship between Broly and that creature that he was friends with, that does say a lot about Broly's character. This new Broly is truly something else. He's different than the previous Broly. This new Broly actually cares. And guys, do believe me that if someone other than Broly's father hurt that creature that he was friends with, then most likely Broly would have hurt them really bad or even worse, he would have murdered them. And just because it was his own father who Broly cares about a lot, that's why Broly did not react in any kind of a way. And Broly truly respects and loves his father, Paragus. And guys, in this movie, Broly did not know how to transform into a Super Saiyan. Then guys, Frieza remembered how Goku first transformed into a Super Saiyan. That was with the death of Krillin. He was Goku's best friend. Then Frieza immediately killed Paragus with a death beam. Then after that, someone from Frieza's army told Broly that it was one of Broly's attacks that accidentally killed his father. And after seeing the dead body of his father who Broly loved and cared about so much, Broly erupted. Broly erupted into a super saiyan see guys before there was paragus and broly did not want to disobey his father paragus and right now paragus is gone and the only two people that broly cares about right now is ciara and lemo and right now they have created a bond and broly really cares about them now if something happens to ciara and lemo then guys we all know what broly will do to that pacific person anyways you guys that is about it. that's all i have for you guys today so do let me know what you guys think about this and comment down, down below and if you guys have enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and if you guys want more videos like this and also the latest news about the upcoming dragon ball super broly movie then guys be sure to hit the subscribe button anyways once again you guys thank Thank you all so much for watching and have a blessed day everyone.